Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to look at how to do a turning operation and produce a taper with the lathe. All right, friends, so just like normal, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to chuck up our piece. We're using a three jaw chuck. So with that three jaw chuck, whenever we turn the chuck key, all three jaws are clamping down on this. And we are going to produce a taper on this piece so that it tapers back and then we have the stock. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use this compound slide. We're not gonna use the cross slide, we're gonna use the compound rest. So the way we have to do this is we have to take these screws, these bolts, or these nuts rather, loosen those so we can turn it. So we can either turn it, if we wanna produce a taper that goes this way, we're either gonna to need to take our um, compound rest and turn it this way and go back and forth this way or go back this way so we can make that taper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it this way so I can go at this angle. Okay, so I have my 14 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna loosen up these two nuts here. And that way I can rotate this the way I wanna turn it. So I can look, if you look down here, we have a numbers, we have a scale which shows me what angle I am in relation to the cross or the carriage and the cross slide. So I don't want it at a 90. I'm gonna turn it back this way. And if I go this way, I have my numbers. I could do a 45 here, but I'm gonna turn it the other way. And then I'm going to lock it down Once it's tight, I'm gonna bring my cutter over. And I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit of how I want it to cut. So now we have it rotated. So here we can see I have my compound set up to do a angle here. I'm going to use my compound slide. I'm gonna turn it and it will be doing the cutting. So I'm gonna get it close with my carriage and my cross slide. Then I'm going to turn the chuck and make sure everything is clear. I don't have anything hanging here that's going to hit. I always wanna turn this and make sure everything's clear first. Then I know I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna turn it on, forward. I'm gonna get it close. And now I'm going to use my compound forward, I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to go in, and I'm going to go in about 10 thousandths, and then do it again. in another 10 thousandths, and I'm going to 
use my compound to go in again and then come back. All right, so now we have this nice taper on here and you can take it as far as you want, but that is how to produce a taper. You're going to use this um, compound slide and you're gonna go back and forth. You can cut going forward and then you could also cut going back depending on your cutter head. So if you have a cutter like this where it has cutting on the front and the side, you can cut both ways, forward or back. You just have to remember to turn your cross slide when you do that. So there you go folks, that is how to produce a taper on your parts and pieces that you are creating on the lathe. Thanks so much for watching and remember folks, work hard because hard work is its own reward. It is valuable. Thanks for watching.